Come on. The HSBC World 7 Series Canada final in Vancouver. It is Argentina against Fiji to decide the title. Argentina through. Lautaro has Umbelez to get us underway and it'll be Backwards. an error from them from the kickoff. It won't go 10. Fiji attacking the ball though, so a little bit lucky for Argentina. As Fiji chose to play it. But couldn't run. bring it in. Yeah, Fiji, they've been dominant in the first seven Stay minutes there. of this whole tournament, averaging 21 points in that first half. This is a good omen for Argentina. Are they good enough? Knocked away and into Fiji hands it is. So Argentina will have to defend first. And Fiji get a chance to spread and get their flyers into it. And this man's been good for them. Rasaku. Down that right edge, and they'll swing it back to the big men in the middle. And the offloading game is working early, but so is Argentina's defence. Good hit coming off from Ethgro. And here's Tuai in broken field territory, broken running. But he's caught down again by Rodrigo Ethgro. A couple of good tackles from him. Fiji just looking to press and probe. creating opportunities for themselves with a good wide ball early to get the speedsters into their work. The tackle was all oh, just tipped up though. Needed to be made off the Vati. The offload there too high and then knocked away by Argentina. Still there for Argentina. If they can tidy up on their own guy line, they'll give away a penalty. Not necessarily the worst thing, worst scenario for them. But danger signs here as Fiji will look to build straight up through the middle, chopped down. And another good tackle. Ethgro can't roll away ball there though for Fiji. Tuai again, numbers wide for Fiji as they look to get on the board and they will do so early. Coming in early, Rasaku has been a bit of an unsung hero for them this weekend and he scores first in the final. And there's that fast start from Fiji. Keeping their composure, here's the initial break. That was a good one from Tanaka Yubata. Jerry Tuai always present. Good scramble by Argentina, but in the end, Fiji just able to manipulate the Argentinian defence and ease you as you please, they get the first score. Conversion from out wide is away and short, so Fiji go five points to nil up over Argentina. Two coaches, two absolute greats as players some of the best the game has ever seen now on the coaching bench. Ben Gollings and Santiago Gomez Corres. Fiji drive this restart down long. Oh, it's an ugly bounce for Argentina and they didn't handle it at all well. Vakarinabili just gets it back in field and Argentina will get away with one here as they look to run it out of their own in goal area. Del Mestre with the offload. Referees called advantage over so they need to be good on the clean and they did Argentina. Cleaned out really well. Here's the skillful feet and footwork of Badan Velez down their street. And just reset, take a breath, Argentina, as it's working out from inside their own 22. And it's Fiji's turn to just put a little defence in. And they've been very good in that area this weekend. And now they get the flyer. Moneta, the right foot step. And he's just going to accelerate away, swerving around. You cannot beat the pace of Marcos Moneta. There's no accounting for speed and time, and again, he gets his team into it. He's done it again. Oh, and he makes it look so easy, doesn't he? Marcus Moneta. There was nothing on when he received the ball. Here's the good work on the inside by Bazan Valles. They get the ball, and he just flicks it out the back in the end. Does the number seven. What that does is just give an opportunity to the fly right foot step, and from there, he just swerves and absolutely boosts it. Ninth try of the tournament for Marcos Moneta. How important he is to this side. Yes, the conversion is over as well, and Argentina lead the final 7 5. See how the execution is this time from Argentina on the restart. It's very good, and they get the loose ball too. Quickest to it, good hustle from Los Pumas. 
on the ground. Here's Bathan Valiz trying to create something all for Herman Schultz. Just had a little look up at the oncoming Fijian defence and drops it cold. Yeah, it's a couple of handling errors now from this Argentinian team. They had snatched back the momentum and he knows Herman Schultz. What that means, especially against Fiji, when you've got them on their heels, you have to take advantage of it. And right there, not even contact around him. He knows that might be a big moment in this first half. Crouch! 14 years ago, coming up 14 years Set. since the last final, last title for Argentina. Santiago Gomez caught it was Keep going. to That's the fore and that to I pushes away by Thumbelez as they get the free kick and they run and go quickly again and this is where Fiji so often catch teams on the hop when they decide to play freewheeling rugby back and field though and thrown straight into the arms of Tobias Wade and that'll allow Argentina to spread and they've got a little bit of an overlap wide if they've got it there quickly and they have coming back and field again footwork just tipped up Santiago Vera felt it was. Here's Moneta, spins out of one, and the offload is good too by Dambale, straight up through the middle. He links up with Schultz, who does hang on just this time. Argentina oh, pressing, there's lining up out here. Santiago Vera felt will score. Oh no, he won't! It's gone backwards. It's been given. He's, He's dropped it, but it's contest. been given. Well, my my head was on the forehead. Sorry, yeah, all good. He goes to put this down. Bobble, bobble, hits his knee. It has gone backwards. It's gone towards his own try line. That's why. That's play on. Man, they get away with it. Holy smokes! The twenty-one-year-old looked up to the referee. Ruben Keane and thought, oh, what have I done? But he's got away with one hard in the mouth. Oh, off the knee. Oh, my goodness. He wouldn't want to look at his coach, I can tell you that. Well, let's put Argentina ahead. I think everyone will need a drink after that one. Santi, 12-5. Argentina lead the final. Restart is shallow and good. Oh, that's wonderful work in the air from Ethgrove. Here come Argentina again. Moneta, you're not going to stop him there. He's got two in the first half. And Argentina have torn away in the opening seven minutes of the cup final. Oh, yeah. The Puma is roaring, that's for sure. Look at that athleticism at kickoff time. Absolutely committed himself. And from there, they give it to their young star, Moneta. No one in front of him. Easy as you please. He is causing chaos at the moment, the number 13. So on the stroke of half time, the conversion is going to hang in the air and just shave in front of the posts as the Argentine coaches march to the huddle to their team leading 17-5 over Fiji at the halftime break.
It's been almost 14 years since Argentina won a title on the HSBC World 7 Series and they have a 17-5 lead over the champion Fiji side at halftime here in Vancouver. Fiji scored early, they looked ominous, Carl Tenana, but as they've done all tournament, Argentina grow into their work and it's a handy lead. Yeah, I'm sure Santiago Gomez Coros, the Puma coach, would have told them, get the foot on the throat, don't let up. But for Fiji, like what Ben Golin said, don't panic, it's all about this first score after the half. Fiji are going to come back for sure, can the Pumas withstand them? Ioane Raturathiri gets us back underway. Seven minutes to play, or Ifgro can't bring that one in. He's been good in the air for them. Not this time. And here Ready come Fiji to White. A couple of big wide passes. And then their big man, Vaturangabili, on the outside. He's going to be, yeah, knocked down. Fiji say it was deliberate. Argentina want to have a look. No chance. Oh, they know. He knows this is a yellow card. There's Vaturangabili. Yeah, there's no chance he's going to regather that. That's the right call. The moment for Fiji's right now. So Tobias Wade goes to the Sinbin for two minutes now. It's hard enough playing Fiji with seven, let alone when you're down to six. Because of that, that's why Fiji have called the scrum. They'll have to power up here for Argentina. They've lost their halfback, so they've put three in the back line of Argentina. Crouch! We need a nine. We You've got to have a nine, start. yeah. Nine's got to come up in the to scrum, start, so that's got to leave some here. space somewhere free okay. in the back line. You, can you can't do here, that, so and then what you do can go. Argentina do? Stack the Crouch. long side. Someone's got to cover the blind. It's free at the moment for Fiji. Bind. Set. To White. The architect of so much. Has he got him the talk at this time? He goes himself. Jerry Tuai from the base of the scrum. And then he gets the return ball back to manipulating space wide as Fiji flying towards the corner. Oh, just Nine losing a feet. The offload is good though. Three passes in the movement and Jerry Tuai finishes it off. They capitalize on Argentina's discipline. And Fiji score first in the second half. Well, this is great awareness by Jerry Tuai from scrum time. See Argentina actually drop the halfback and try and Six. aim up on the Six. far side One. and what that does, the leaf space on the open, Jerry Over Two-Way here. sees that, he gives that last Thank pass, you. he's still trailing in behind, this is good work to keep their feet and he wrapped around to get so many scores does Jerry Two-Way, just with his supreme support, he is top shelf. Kick no good for Fiji, so it's still a seven point buffer for Argentina of cup finals 29 for Jerry Tuai extraordinary it's an absolute legend on that list Argentina pull this in Gaston Rival onto the field the captain for Argentina didn't see him in the semi-final and out there now though has had a little bit of a cool head to this Argentine side a little bit loose in the carry or look loose it's hit the ref though Argentina are going to get lucky me. here are they that. I can't hit that was that lost forward? No, that was lost forward first, I think, Ricky. Yeah. So this is Fiji and Boris. This is outstanding okay. for Naki Vata. Yeah, so it's going to be un unintentional. It's oh, oh, yes. No, it was not lost. Oh. Yes. He kicked it into me. Oh, the Fijians kicked it into the referee. That's what he's saying, is it? Okay. Ruben King. Scrum. Argentinian ball. Crouch. Yeah, that's a big call, that one. Fine. So, Felipe de Dimitri, it did look loose in the hands, Set. didn't it, as he carried forward, but they get away with it, Argentina. Much to Fiji's despair, and Gaston Revol tries to shoot down the short side and playing under advantage as well, so they're going to go and get the Pushing penalty, up. and this is good reliever for okay. Argentina to slow it down while they've got their man the in the bin, who back. is now going to be back out there. Yeah, Time League off. One try, didn't they? Five points. Okay. Argentina, so they'll take that rather than two. I'd say, so they're just going to go to the Time line now, on. are they? Or the, because they've got their full complement. Time is on. They've got to set up a plate. Set play it is for Argentina. One way and then the other. With Anvelez, Del Mestre. And again, Step. too loose. Tried to manhandle his way through. Play on is the call. And once again, the bounce of the ball goes Argentina's way. Big collision in midfield. Ethro under attention. Now Argentina. This is the man whose hands they want the ball in. Moneta this time gives. And then supports as well as Schultz clears away. 
Up to halfway come Los Pumas, Seth Group. One on one with a big fin on Rasaku. Tries to get over the top. They'll be under advantage once I more. Penalty coming man. Argentina's way for the high shot. Schultz has made the run. As yet they stabbed the little kick through. His body's lying all over the place in back plate. They'll go back and play the original penalty though, which is for the high tackle. Yeah, I think Del Mestre no, knew that he had the penalty advantage. Innocuous there, just yes. trying to go the ball and he dips this right at the last. This is Escro. Now the skipper, what does he do? Gaston Revolt. Ball, please. Scrum, that's all we need a ball. Thank you. So now time's off. Scrum option. Argentinians really have Scrum. slowed the pace of this game yeah, down. Him on. Time's off. And you spoke about this guy, Gaston Revolt. I think Santiago Gomez Cora has used them sparingly on purpose to get to these situations. When they do need to play slow. He's the man to do that and game manage and be the closer for them. Still a long way to go, though. You don't want to try and shut up shot too oh, early against no way. Fiji. Crouch. Only one converted try in it. Fine. It's been a final. Just Six. as we would expect it. As Revolt gets it in and out. Who are his options? Who is he looking for? Clattering forward is Luciano Gonzalez onto the field. And here's Moneta again. Is he going to try and get around the outside? Yes, he is. Almost gets away. Oh, he has got away. And the fin. The offload is good. There's support there. The step from Del Mestri. He crashes over for what could be a critical score for Argentina. Set up once more by the magic feet of Marcos Moneta. And then finished brilliantly by Felipe Del Mestre. That's what happens when you have extreme pace on the outside. You have to send numbers. It was the third defender that he got rid of, Domestri, in that ball from Mineta. That is a well-taken set-piece try from the Pumas. Mineta, look at him, one defender. A second one comes across, he's not held. A third one comes across, and that's when he gets that pull away. Good trail in there by the number 10, Felipe Del Mestre. Conversion two is good. Now the pressure's on Fiji. What is the response from the champion side? They've lost Moneta on the sideline, Argentina. Escro flies again. He soars, does Rodrigo. Argentina, nearly 14 years, 109 tournaments ago since they won a title. And now they've got numbers again for Schultz, who tries to power over bumping bodies. Yeah. Bazan Velez, Bazan Velez has got Revolve. It goes to ground oh, instead, taken no. in a good tackle. That could be turnover ball for Fiji. No, just comes clear for Argentina again. Bazan Velez has Revolt sliding across as Fiji in defence. Ethgro, who has been outstanding in this final, getting rid of Fiji in defenders. Crashing hard, ready to take the physical contact and just losing the ball out on slightly too long. Massive shot put in by Fiji. I'm not sure of the number. They've got to go quick. They can go to the length right now. Escrow still down in back play, so Argentina only got six in their defensive line. That's a brave tackle from little Gaston Revolt. There's a couple of players down, and in fact, the Fijian player and the Argentine player both together. And it's all messy, and it's play on, and it's going to be another try for Del Mestre, and that might seal the title. Well, they think so. Felipe Del Mestre scored his second. There was so much going on in back play. They played to the whistle, though, Argentina. Well, here's the turnover under duress with Fiji, knowing they needed to score quickly. Del Mestre knows right there as he motions, get that one. But they have finally locked up a cup final after he spoke about 14 years. The emotions by the coach, that's what it means for him and his squad. They have given everything, they deserve this. Twenty-nine points to ten. One of the absolute greats who did it all as a player. He was there when they won their last title, and now he's going to lead them to one here. These young charges. Santiago Gomez caught up. What a moment for him and his team. Time's off. Sir, time. Time is off. Yeah, it's off. It's off.
I got a missing. Missing. Okay, ten's gone off on the far side. Time on. One last play, one last roll of the dice. It rolls off the fingertips. Argentina create history in Vancouver. It has been the longest time coming for Los Pumas. But finally they will get their hands on the trophy and they have done it in fine style against a wonderful Fiji team. They didn't let them play in the second half. And Argentina are the champions.